Hey world changers, Ms. McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week we will practice a specific question type. And if you know that you need more practice after today's video with the skill that we work on today, you should totally check out McCarthyMathAcademy.com. Check out Taking on the Best for a lot more videos to help you get better with your math skills. All right, so are you ready for the focus of this week's video? Okay, the question type that we are going to focus on this week is drum roll. Editing task. Let's not waste any more time on my fake watch. Let's go ahead and get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fifth grade, here is your problem this week. It is an editing task problem. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. Study it carefully, work it out carefully, show your journey carefully on paper. And then when you're ready, come on back and let's check your work. Welcome back fifth grade. Okay, this one says that a numerical expression, those are fancy words, numerical, that means that we have numbers involved. An expression means that there's, we're genuinely talking about something that doesn't involve the equal sign. No equal sign, as you can see. Okay, right down there, there's no equal sign. A numerical expression, an expression with numbers is shown below. We see one half, and then inside of parentheses, 36 divided by six. Complete the mathematical description. So this is turning that numerical expression into words, okay? Using a mathematical description by filling in the blanks. Okay, so it says blank the blank. And I see little arrows right here. So on a computer-based test, I would click these two arrows and that would drop down at the answer choices and I would select the answer choice that makes sense. So for this one, would it be twice the blank, half the blank, or 12 times the blank? I think they're talking about this piece right there and that is the fraction that we would read as one half. So this would be not twice the blank and not 12 times the blank, but half the blank half the, and I see 36 and six is all the same right here. So it's just about changing these vocabulary words right there. So half the difference of 36 and six, well the difference would mean that we're doing which operation? Subtracting, right? The product of 36 and six, that would mean that we're doing which operation with 36 and six? Multiplying. The quotient of 36 and six, when we are finding the quotient, which operation are we performing? Division, yeah. And for sum, the sum of 36 and six, which operation is that? Addition, awesome. Okay, so now that we know that, are we subtracting, multiplying, dividing or adding 36 and six in our numerical expression. We are dividing. So we need to select the one that says the quotient of 36 and six. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the answer that I would select and highlight the answer that I would select right there. So we would want it to say half the quotient of 36 and six. Notice how I showed my journey of what was going on right here. That's important. It helps you to identify your way through the problem. Make sure that you are developing those strategies too and not just looking at it and picking answers. It's important to showcase your journey along the way. Um, go ahead and pause the video if you need to record any notes onto your paper and then when you're ready, let's close out this video lesson. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, 
Follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, Thing, you've got to put in the practice. You've got to take time in your day, intentional time, to throw down your very best effort. That is how you get better. And I want you to know that I totally believe in you, and I will see you next time, world changers. Bye!